ready to get started? Yep. Should, do we need to get a lad in here to hold it for you? Yeah. And you got the display a screen? A too? Lad. TV a is lad. what I named Boo. it this time. Boo. Oh, a lad. Hold me pocket binder. <laughs> well, I don't even know what that thing is. What? Hold me stream deck. What, are you going to go with a poly pocket or something? I said pocket binder, which makes no sense. <laughs> What's a pocket binder? Okay. That's that's how my Alzheimer's interpreted <laughs> the, the thing you're holding right now. All right. I'm, I need a pocket binder. It's a pocket binder. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Uh, you guys ready to get started then? Yeah. Oh yeah, let's move past this. Definitely, definitely ready. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining us for the 13th episode of the Paircast. We're joining you, we're recording this today on Father's Day. So on behalf of all of us here, shout out to the daddies. Anybody Thanks, you've ever daddy. called daddy. Thanks daddy. I'm Dan Eggers, <laughs> the host, and I'm joined here by my co-hosts uh, sitting to my direct right. That's me, That's Chris you. Bremer. Chris Bremer is here, yeah. and uh, also sitting next to him, we have... It's me, Paige Eckstein. Paige Eckstein. Connor is unfortunately uh, not joining us this evening. But How... sitting between us is my sweaty drink. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we will still be having uh, the Conspiracy Corner. But Just, it won't be Connor's. It won't be Connor's. Nope. It will be Connor's Conspiracy Corner. Hosted, hosted by Paige. By Paige. <laughs> I like um, that. So we got a lot of great news stories here this evening. I got some more uh, five-star reviews that we'll go through. Or one-star reviews. The opposite of five. Um... And we got a uh, no daddy stories, unfortunately. Although it would be like really, I mean, I, I'm sure some of these men in this these stories are. You daddies. want me to tell you a daddy story? Really? Tell me a daddy no. story. <laughs> Lay it on me. <laughs> like leather daddy story or a regular daddy story? Uh, leather daddy. <laughs> Give me on a leather spot. daddy. Story. I don't know. I, just, I didn't think you'd take me up on the offer. Uh, let's start us off with some uh, of the bigger ones. I do want to say before we start that I'm nervous about this one because I know. While you were doing research, at one point you just go, ugh. Uh, it was just gr like. <laughs> gross. It was gross. And you always have a gross out one. It's, and they always yeah. gross this, me out. I think out. it'll gross me and Chris out more than you. This okay. seems like we're heading for another penis. Because okay. you, you don't have testicles. Stories. Okay. I knew it. I was going to say, this is like the cooler <laughs> full of dicks it. episode. Well, we're not going to start testicles. Still, I don't like the toe shot one. That was the worst. I still like think about that way oh, too yeah. frequently. Like I'll just be walking around work and I'll be like, oh, can you imagine swallowing a toe? And the toe shot one. someone did that. The toe shot one has actually come up twice on the podcast. I now. hate that one. Yeah. I hate that one so much. Okay, go ahead. Uh, anyway, we're starting off with no genitals, um, <laughs> but more what's expelled. <laughs> Sorry, Paige. It's not that gross. This is funny. Uh, man fined for farting with full intent at police. <laughs> Okay, so, what the fuck does full intent mean? I'll tell you, Paige, that's farting in the first degree. <laughs> that's, okay. what, that's what is that is. Is this an actual law? Can you be arrested uh, a man, for farting this is not with in the United full intent? This is not in the United States. Uh, a man in Vienna has been fined 500 Vienna. euros. What? Where's like the, the sausage? Austria. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm bad at geography. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I <laughs> I'm took sorry. Me, it took me a second to remember, but I'm just thinking, about like, sausage, what about Vienna, true. like... I didn't realize their folk fart culture was so like <laughs> offensive, like, you know, but go ahead. Um, uh, he's been fined 500 euros or $565 for breaking wind loudly in front of a police, a move that the Austrian's capital, uh, capital's police force was at pains to defend on Tuesday. Okay. So when I imagine this, like with full intent made me think this guy straight <gasps> up, like, no, like bent over and like grabbed his ass cheeks and, and pressed like, it to a cop's like, face farted <laughs> at a cop. Like very, it sounds like he just farted loudly near a cop. Yeah, I, I was expecting more of like a South Park fart of like yeah. things hitting a cop's face when it happened. <laughs> yeah, like, like way more. Uh, this kind of sounds, uh, that's a little police statey. If you yeah. ask me, like you're not even allowed to quote yeah. Monty Python again, to fart in a cop's general direction. Yeah. yeah. That's basically you know? is what happened here. Um, nobody basically was, uh, nobody was hurt nobody by the was no, Nobody was like coming forward about, you know, passing the gas. Uh, but they added that a man had behaved provocatively and uncooperatively. And what, in what, why were they there? Is what this, was he uncooperative yeah, is this in? The Austrian, is this the Austrian version of like getting arrested for resisting arrest and having no other charge? Oh yeah. Yeah. Like you, know? you yeah. still get off. Yeah. Like he could confront yeah. you for farting his direction, but yeah. you don't mm -hmm. get charged for farting. You get charged for resisting arrest. Or what, yeah. He yeah. tried to arrest you for farting in his direction. Cause it's like, Oh, uh, we've determined by our culture that like, if you fart on someone that's assault. And so the cops are like, they really wanted to punch that guy. Yeah. And they're like, he farted on me. Just, Let's take him in. The with full intent is what yeah. really throws the with full me intent, about the it's whole in thing. Like, what, do, what does that mean? With full intent to what? Well, we've all farted it on It sounds accident. like he did it. 
We've all. Well, it goes on, on to say accident. he got up from a park bench, looked at the officers, and quote, let go a massive intestinal wind that apparently, <laughs> wind apparently with full intent. Intense intestinal wind. And our colleagues don't like to be farted at so much. It sounds so like much. So much. It sounds like he literally just like stood up and farted, and they were like, "Was that at my direction, sir?" It's uh, like you it know, sounds like the Shakespearean, like, "Do you bite your thumb at me, sir?" This actually <laughs> reminds me of one time. This is a not. This is gonna sound like I don't know if this is gonna sound bad. No, you anyway, tell your fart story. This is a far, fourth grade story. It's not farting. Um, we were in fourth grade, right? I had this really bitchy teacher. Should I say her name? No, I shouldn't. Say no, her you name. should not say her name. <laughs> no. Let's just call her Mrs. M. Okay. And Mrs. M was a real, she was a real hag. Okay. I'll be okay. honest. Uh, she was given some boring ass lecture. I'll be honest. And then somebody, a student yawned, not even like an obnoxious yawn, just, just like yawned. yawned. And she goes, were you yawning at me? <laughs> and then she kicked him out of class. What? Yeah. That's she sent him to the principal's cool. office. Yeah, I got a... Uh, Mrs. M, man. That, I, psh, Mrs. M, so, fuck her. Quick high school stories. Once I got kicked out of a history class for asking to take the test because I used to skip it all the time and I'd go in and get A's on the tests because it's easy. And this teacher, like, her answer for what is socialism, the only acceptable answer was, like, oh. communism that's not as bad. <laughs> it was a less form of... Communism severe, light. <laughs> yeah. So she threw me out for uh, asking to take a test. Oh, um, no. And so teachers are crazy. But I'm going to tell a, a story where I farted in school Ooh. real quick. Oh, you got a fart okay. story? All right. Yeah. So when I was in uh, eighth, seventh and eighth grade, I had a gym teacher. We'll call him Mr. J. <laughs> for gym? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but we used to like to, to piss him off. We would call him his, by his first name, which was Bob. And so like, you'd just be like, Hey Bob, you know, hey, and, Bob. Like, hey, Bob. whenever he was being a dick to you. So I quickly became like a target of his. And like, when I got to high school, he moved schools. He moved to this high school when I went to high school and I was walking through the hall on my first day and I see him and I nod to him and he grabbed me and pulled me into the locker room where they're at. And he goes, uh, we have nothing to do with each other. You got me, Brimmer? Oh. <laughs> he goes, you and I have no history. It's like, we don't know who each other are. You got me? And I made some smart ass comment and he goes, give me 20 squats. And so I drop down and I get like five squats in before I realize there's going to be some farting happening, <laughs> right? Because this is like right after breakfast. It's the first part of the day. Okay. And, and I stop and he goes, keep doing your squats, Brimmer. And I'm like, I, I, and he goes, do you want to go to the principal's office in your first two hours of school at a new school? Or are you going to do the squats? And I thought about it and I was like, there's no other kids around. Why not? Whatever. So I just start doing the squats and with every squat, I fart a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> for, oh my God. for like, for like three or four squats. <laughs> and then by the fourth, third or fourth squat, he's just like, uh, get, get up, get up. And like, I get up and he goes, listen to me. Don't, we're not, we don't talk to each other. There's no history here. Get out of my office. This never happened. I go to gym that day. He's my teacher. He, he's, the, he's the one who's, Oh my God. He, he's the one by the lottery or whatever they do that I wind up in his class. And, uh, he walked me down the hall to the weightlifting club and he goes, uh, this kid's in your class now. And that teacher was like, whatever. And then I was just in weightlifting. <laughs> the high school. That's amazing. In in Austria, you could have been arrested. Yeah, I you know could have been arrested you were farting with intent. Well, it's not yeah. a it's not a cop, but it is um, it is a gym teacher, which is basically the same thing. Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> exactly. Exact There's thing. two career paths for certain people. <laughs> um. Anyway, moving on to a much different type of story. Chris is gonna love this one just because of one specific detail. <laughs> Alcoholic monkey named Kalua will serve life <laughs> sentence in India for aggressive behavior. Oh. What's a life? What what do he do? Is Great he, question. What a life sentence for a, a fucking monkey? What's a life I don't know. A That's I have a just of being him. in a zoo. Right? What did he do? I don't actually know a hundred percent if this Give is a me, picture tell of me when Kahlua. I can pull up a picture. Uh, you can pull it up right now. This is Kalua. Kalua was drinking a beer though. <laughs> it, it never said he drinks fucking Kalua. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> just named Kalua. Yeah. It just named Kalua. So what did he do that was violent? Uh, Does he just get drunk all the time? Kahlua well, is my favorite alcohol, for those of you that don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're wondering what the connection that's was. That's the reason uh, I, th I said Chris would love this yeah. story. Uh, the story goes on to say, uh, an alcoholic six-year-old monkey in India <laughs> will remain in captivity for the rest of his life for aggressive behavior that began when it stopped getting liquor. Oh. So it's <laughs> this poor monkey, dude. All the aggressive behavior began after it uh, stopped receiving its alcohol. Uh, he's serving a life... Okay, Life sentence. A life sentence? <laughs> Hold on. Because no, he's no, no. a monkey. Get I stopped it? because I read the sentence afterwards. 
The monkey's name's Kalua, and he's serving a life sentence at the Kanpur Zoo. That's yeah. hardly a fucking life sentence. Life in, sentence. In, in where they're, where they're going to put up a plaque, and whoever does the tours is going to be like, this is our drunk, angry monkey. Like, do you think <laughs> that... He's a tourist. <laughs> he's a tourist. Do you think that the monkey's going to have to, like, make license plates for three cents an hour? Yeah. yeah. It's, he didn't yeah. go to fucking prison. And he's going to have to go to counseling. <laughs> that poor yeah. monkey, he though. And he won't be able to vote. <laughs> yeah. I feel la- bad for him. <laughs> if he lashes out at his, at his counselor, too. Uh, his. He was a pet of an occultist. <laughs> Oh, okay. I want to know way more about this. Who would regularly give him liquor to the point where the monkey became an alcoholic. When the occultist died, the liquor stopped. The monkey's aggressive behavior became problematic. Kalua was eventually caught and put into captivity, where he will remain for the rest of rest of his life. They're really putting a spin on like this life sentence. Yeah, but what it is is a funny headline. Listen, this is like if you had like a. What's the difference in this story between like if you had a an exotic pet of any kind yeah. and like a government agency was like, oh, we need to put this pet somewhere, but it bites children's faces. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah, yeah, You yeah. know what I mean? Like they're putting a spin on this story to make it right. seem ah. super sensational. I just when... feel super bad for the monkey. You want to feel yeah. better like, though? Somebody There's lots got him of... addicted to booze. Frankly, I'm like surprised struggling. that monkey's yeah. not just being Euthanized. shot in the head. Yeah. 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 Where, where has this happened? What oh, it's not because it's in India. I feel like in the United States. I mean, I'm not saying shot in the head. I'm saying you shot in the head me- metaphorically. With a, with a rock. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm saying it metaphorically. Put it I would assume for, that it would be yeah. put down for being a violent animal. Yeah. That's what we do here, I feel but like. But there's yeah. lots of, what this story doesn't <laughs> talk about is that this is like a tourist thing in India, though, in a number of places where, um, I forget what type of monkey it is, but it's like they go like, Part of the the ambiance of certain places is you go there and it's like dining outside mm-hmm. and the monkeys are like, give me some shit. Well, and also you know, a lot yeah, of them, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, like it's, and they steal booze and they, you know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. They a lot of them stuff. have a lot of religious significance as well. So they and don't. So yeah. same with like cows, you, you can't slaughter them, move them like it's their area. Yeah. They've lived here for thousand yeah. years mm-hmm. but the know? monkeys just like they'll take whatever foods left on oh, tables yeah, they'll you take don't mess booze. with them they, you let them do it yeah they go in and mm-hmm. um wasn't it india where that baby that monkey jumped off a motorcycle and stole the baby have you guys no yeah. <laughs> oh, this sounds insane <laughs> yeah it was like a uh, like a monkey a guy had trained same kind of monkey to like ride a motorcycle and this and it didn't hurt the baby, but this monkey like jumped off a motorcycle, took a baby and took off. Was and it just what was it? Why was it on the motorcycle? Because it you was trained. You say that part so casually, like that's a normal occurrence for they a train, monkey. They to train just him to like motorcycle. ride little motorcycles, or it was on his motorcycle. I forget his motorcile. I forget like the, the monkey's details. motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, they have their own. I don't know about this story, Chris. How about we <laughs> move on to a story that's verified and, and trending While everywhere? You're doing this is a that, big Google story. It. All right, I'm not your, googling it right story? now. I'm sorry, Chris. Uh, you may probably have heard about this, right? Have you heard about uh, Officer Karen? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have. Yes, yeah. I have. The McDonald's Egg McMuffin melt- meltdown that yeah. shook the world. Yeah. You guys seen it? No. Well, we're, uh, we're going to watch it with everybody else right now. <laughs> Let me get it pulled up here in just a sec. I haven't watched the full thing. I've watched I've enough to, to know. Enough. Okay, well, we're going to watch the <laughs> I full thing. I won't spoil. Feel free to comment as you gone. go. We're not going to spoil it here. For those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we're just going to watch the video. I don't know why it's not loading. There we go. All right, first joke. All right. First joke about Officer Karen. Give me an yeah. Officer Karen joke. I am, know that people are saying Karen is racist. Uh, okay. That's stupid. Uh, if Okay, if it's racist, okay, then, then it makes Karen like our version of the N-word, and I'm allowed to say it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. If, if that's how we're I playing mean, yeah, it. you're a white woman. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm a I'm a vaguely... No, 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 okay. Well, make uh, a joke. Oh, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry. I was going to say, she looks like a girl who wrestled in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, she I was going to say, she looks like she was in 4-H. Uh, what's 4-H? What is 4-H? The what's it called? The like farm? No, do you guys? You guys didn't grow up in farmland. It's the like farming thing that right. you do instead of like Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts. You do farm stuff. Dan's from an inner tier suburb, and I'm from an outer tier <laughs> suburb. We didn't have any I farms. I came from 4-H. <laughs> All right, she does it's like, look. It's like farming Girl Scouts. She Boy does Scouts. look like she'd get like uh, whatever the milkmaid syndrome is like on her hands, <laughs> like in the in the Victorian era. Oh, I have it muted. I got the cowpox. That's what <laughs> the cowpox. <laughs> she'd have cowpox from all the milking. Come to the McDonald's at Love's on the Ford Avenue exit. And calling them out I specifically where they're at. Waited in line to get my food. I had already done my mobile order so that, you know, people don't pay for my stuff because I just always like to pay for it myself. Oh, so but mobile. I'm on my way home from work. Um, when I work fast food, when we I pull always up to the window, free food. they it's hand me my receipt. We so I go to the second window to get my food. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. And I'm waiting. 
And so waiting. the girl comes to the window and asks me what my order was. I repeat my order and my coffee um, order. And they ask <laughs> She's me to pull really up dragging out a story about going to get fast food. This is at least an English muffin two and a half minutes away. meal with a hash brown of coffee. Pretty long. Your and teeth are I mean, very I white. I wish are. my teeth were that white. There's good uh, dental care in there. I mean, I've been up for good insurance. Time, Bad pay, good insurance. In a while, so I was kind of hungry. And I'm still waiting. But they give you a car. And I'm still waiting. And they ask me to pull up. So I pull up forward, and um, a girl comes out with my coffee and just the coffee. And she hands it to me. And I have my window down. <laughs> She's getting a call. And that's all she hands me is the coffee. Better turn that down. Somebody's dying. So I told She's her, tearing I up the food hard. Because right now I'm too nervous to take it. I don't want it your coffee. It doesn't how many hours I've been up. It doesn't matter what I've done for anyone. What the fuck? Right now I'm too nervous to take a meal from McDonald's. This woman has a gun because and can kill you made. and nothing yeah. will fucking happen to her. And she is crying and scared of taking a cup of coffee at nowadays? McDonald's. Well, there might be but spit in it. Just give us a and break. I'm just really Please scared just about it. I don't know how much more I can take. Jesus fucking I've Christ. been in this for 15 years, and I've never, ever had such anxiety about waiting for McDonald's drive-thru This drive woman shouldn't food. allow to be a cop or have a gun. <laughs> so just At have all? a heart, and if you see an officer, just tell them thank you. Because I don't hear thank you enough anymore. <laughs> all right. So all right. You, so want that, my, you want my hot take on it? Give me your hot Karen take. Hot Karen. That's the new segment. Hot Karens. <laughs> the new Hot Carl. Um, so this is my instinct on this, right, is um, I want to give people the benefit of the doubt. So for all we know, Officer Karen just saw like a dead baby six hours ago. Yeah. But you should record this and watch it before you post it to media. Like she might have had a legitimate reason for feeling as bad as she does, but the sense of entitlement over... I waited. Uh, they forgot my Mc. I've, I've worked a lot of fast food. People forget your shit because they don't care. Yeah, they make, exactly. Yeah. They make no money. All they, t- the time. they don't think yeah. two thoughts about what what your job is, what yeah. we- uniform you're wearing. You they're, know what I mean? They're underpaid, overworked, and um, this this is the real like underlying thing here, right? Is you have a bunch of starving, not starving because we're all getting enough calories to be slaves in America. Um, but you know what I mean? Like you have the most underpaid people who are not selected because like of uh, they're, they're super great at what they do. It's people who are taking those jobs and they're like the worst jobs available. And those people a lot of the time have like a high stress life and they don't give a shit about your McMuffin. They yeah. probably got sick kids yeah. that they can't fucking... The last thing they fucking care about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like they forgot it because they just, they got other shit right. going on. So she probably, what I think is, she probably had a really bad double shift. They're probably slammed. And was like, America needs to love me. I'm a cop. I just did, a, I didn't kill anybody and I did a good thing today. Yeah. And then when she had to wait for her McMuffin rather than get it for free, it was that thing. And look, I've done it. I've been at 6.30 in the morning in a McDonald's drive through and somebody cut me off, and like I rolled down my window, and I was like, "I saw what you did, ma'am. Mm-hmm. We're all we're not going to pretend that you didn't do this." So everybody kind of goes a little overboard sometimes. But the thing that shows her lack of discretion is like not hesitating to post that online yeah, for, in a second. for the entire world, and like I, feel sorry for me, you know. I don't care how bad of a shift she had. I don't care how bad of a day she had. If you are so nervous. That you break down crying about taking a cup of coffee that you ordered from that you ordered from <laughs> you a McDonald's employee. It. You can make They're coffee at you home. Then you are not stable enough of a human being to be right. a cop, in my opinion. If you were gonna, if so, if you're nervous, they spin in it. Just take it and throw it away. You don't yeah. need to literally start crying and shaking out of fear. I want to also. You shouldn't be a cop with a gun. Then you can make your own. You can go into a quick trip and pour a coffee. I want to. What they think she put a bomb in it? Like that's the only response where I'd be like, I was so scared. I think the implication is that she saw super troopers like the rest of us in high school. (laughs) And she was like, they spit in my food because they don't like cops. My problem is, right, for one, the amount of people that spit into shit in the service industry, it's like incredibly uncommon for that kind of shit to happen. Uh, Because most people, frankly, they don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I've worked on the next string of assholes. Um, Also, I don't know how long Officer Karen thinks it takes to spit in a cup of coffee, but I don't know why you think because it took longer. Yeah, hold up, so we can spit in your coffee. (laughs) Like it doesn't take long. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, Karen, go ahead. Pull up like, you know, 40 feet so we can spit in your cup. We didn't know it was like a cop 10 until. Minutes. If I thought they that... would just duck down behind that thing. And like, <laughs> if I thought that every time an order took too long, you know what I mean? And that meant, that meant it was poisoned. I would never have ate at Steak and Shake ever. Or I'd be dead. I don't think she thinks it's poisoned. I think she clearly thinks there's spit in it. But like, again, it, that yeah. is not an appropriate response to their possibly being spit in your no. food. I'm not going to have a nervous breakdown crying. And being like, I was scared. I was scared. Okay. Like, that's yeah. way too much. Well, yeah. And uh, again, in a world where, um, you know. That uh, person can then have a gun and kill you. Everybody, yeah. Like, it's, like, that's not, that's what freaks me out is that woman should not be a cop. No, no, she shouldn't be a cop. And I don't mean to say that that isn't um, insight into maybe her fragile state of mind that <laughs> demonstrates she should yeah. be a cop. Um, but I would like to give her the benefit of the doubt that to assume that she at least had a bad day before oh, that. Yeah. Well, you know I, what I mean? Like. I mean, like, sure. she didn't like, like, this isn't like, uh, you know, she didn't like wake up, go straight to McDonald's yeah, and be like, they didn't give me, you know what I mean? Like, if it, yeah. like I'd like, I, t I take her for her word that at least she had a long, yeah. bad day yeah. like leading into that. Yeah. Sure. I still stand by that woman shouldn't have sure. a gun. Yeah. No, I agree entirely. Nobody <laughs> disagrees with that. I'm not saying all. I'm not saying she has the temperament yeah. for police work. No. Yep. You know what she should do is be a firefighter. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming that she doesn't uh, she's not a racist who hates people. What if uh, she hates you know? fires? Ooh. Oh my gosh. You then know, you're like the best There's a name for that, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, I guess except for pyromaniacs. Yeah. Like everybody's you know, you know. You know what everybody does love? What? Machetes. <laughs> Obviously. What a transition, huh? Man with machete tattoo on his face accused of machete attack. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, a man no. with an apparent machete tattoo on his face was accused of a machete attack that took place over the weekend in central Florida's Hang Gulf on. Coast. Of course, Florida. But also, I like how they say apparent machete. How bad is this tattoo? <laughs> like, when you have to no. say oh, an oh, apparent it? machete. It could be butter you knife. It? it could be a butter knife. It could be <laughs> yeah, any I number of I got a, I got a picture of it. You can, you can see it. It's not, I mean, yeah. It's an apparent machete. Oh, or that's a not knife. a machete. That's a Rambo knife. A Bowie knife, right? Either that or he was like, he was playing football and washed half his face <laughs> before he... I, it does. It's kind of just like a stripe across I his I see why they did yeah. say a pair of machete now. Yeah, it, it just kind of... Uh, I don't know. It yeah. looks as much like it could be a flintlock musket as or much like, as a <laughs> machete. Or like a really bad Nike Swish tattoo. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, a yeah. Big fat one. Like real botched. Uh, anyway, so that is the... Perpetrator. Okay. Justin Arthur Allen Couch, <laughs> that's, 25. That's, a, that's name. a lot of names. <laughs> was arrested Tuesday and charged with aggravated battery. Uh, the victim, an adult male, was taken to the hospital and survived but cannot use or move his left hand. Oh, no. The man said Couch struck him in the arm and the leg with the flat side of a machete's blade as they argued Saturday night outside the victim's home in Terrytown Drive on Terrytown Drive in Spring Hill. So by the flat side, not the blade? Yeah, yeah, like, like okay. I don't know. Does he mean like the flat side or the non-bladed side? I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Flat like the flat side would be like the. I would think so. He like whipped him like with a machete, the, blade, the back of yeah. a machete. They 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 chose confusing wording. Yeah, they yeah. did because um, all sides of a machete are flat. <laughs> that's that's fair. <laughs> uh, the victim told authorities, "Couch then swung the machete at the victim's face in order to block the strike. The victim quickly placed his left arm in front of his face." Victim's forearm was struck and the uh, with the blade of the machete. The victim felt severe pain and then passed out. Ooh. The victim told deputies that Couch later took him to a friend's house and that friend drove him to the hospital. The oh, argument reportedly so, began after Couch didn't want to let the victim inside his home for unknown reasons. Okay, so this guy was trying to buy meth off a tattoo face and he's yeah. like, "Get out of here!" My mama said to I can't fair, sell meth when she's home. It kind of sounds like this dude was like, I mean, and I'm purely speculating. He might have been asking for him. It sounds like he might have been like. <coughs> Well, trying to like trespass, you know what I mean, to an extent. Like, it sounds like he was trying to enter Couch's home, and Couch kept telling him no. And he, I mean, if you're gonna attack somebody with a machete, right, you're deliberately hitting him with the not sharp side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, kids, I think this is a, this is a lesson about why you don't get the machete. Tattoo I want to know. Your yeah, I want to. There's when the, a when history. The cops, when the cops show up and there's a machete fight, the guy with the machete tattooed on his face is gonna be <laughs> He's assumed gonna be the one that goes down. To, to be the the aggressor. Yeah. But also, like, what's the history of this guy? Like, is, is there more machete attacks? Uh, you know, just he, David tattooed. Arthur Allen Couch. So you don't David get a Arthur Allen Couch tattooed on your face and happened to attack someone with a machete. That's PhD not a PhD psychiatrist. <laughs> Uh, he's a former Yale attendee. He's written several novels. Poet laureate. Yeah. He lives uh, in a trailer court for fun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's researching a book. He's like a real uh, Hunter S. Thompson. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just saying, 
how many machete attacks or like weird shit with machetes has come up with this guy? Like yeah, there's like I, three unresolved like, <laughs> like cases around Florida yeah. of uh, a mysterious man with four names attacking people <laughs> with the dull side of a machete. That I, it's weird because when we saw the picture of the guy, there was no other obvious tattoos. Of course, it was just like yeah, shoulders it was just up, one. but there was like no neck tattoos. Mm-hmm. There was no other face tattoos, just a weird blobish machete right underneath yeah. his eye. It does like Chris said, kind of look like it's weird. he didn't wash off his like. His football makeup. Yeah. yeah. Makeup. Football like, makeup. Football makeup. <laughs> Uh, what do you call makeup. it? It's grease. It's grease to keep like the, sh- the, the shine out of your right? eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I like um, football makeup, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, Daddy, I only have enough football makeup for half of my face. And he says, David Arthur Allen Couch, you're going to get out there and you're going to play that foosball, boy. <laughs> Turn into the mom from Water It is. Uh, for some reason, I want to do the Louisiana voice because it's fun, even though they don't talk like that in Florida. <laughs> Uh, you guys remember before we started the podcast, we were talking about good testicles, old fashioned herpes. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> good old American herpes. Uh, I got a story related to uh. herpes. Man sues his date for two hundred and thirty thousand dollars after kiss led to cold sore infection. <laughs> oh, he didn't. He didn't see that coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. So um, this is a pretty long article, but basically uh, he went on a date. Uh, and he was left with a, quote, virus for life that he claims resulted from their romantic encounter. Uh, he met this woman, I believe, online. Uh, they met up. They kissed. Um, he's demanding a payout of, like I said, $236,000. Uh, he goes on to say that it's ruined his career what? of becoming a lawyer. Okay, this cold sore must be his entire face. What? Like, listen. Is he one of those weird lawyers that you only see on billboards and stuff and on buses and stuff? Maybe. Is that why it ruined his career? Here's, here's the problem. Yeah, is I want to see a picture of him. He's one of those ones with an eye patch, but he's got two, so you're, you have to look at yeah. his mouth. No, look at him. Yeah. away from the cold sore. He looks like Danny Boyle. He does. He does, yeah. He does look a lot like Danny Boyle. <laughs> Where is this at? Where is this guy? This is from the UK. He's British. Okay. He's a British personal trainer. I was going to say, trainer. this is a European person. This is not a American. <laughs> He's a British personal trainer. Who, who was, was going to be a lawyer until he, was he on got a cold sore? He was on to becoming a lawyer a until trainer. he got a cold sore. All right. Uh, he's just started, so several days after the date, he started developing uh, flu-like conditions and also mouth ulcers. Uh, as a result of his new lifelong condition, he claims he has stopped pursuing his, quote, dream career as a lawyer, uh, as it's left him too scared to leave his home. All right, I just want <laughs> to say. Too scared to leave his scared. home. I just want to say. They make too, Valtrex. Like, oral herpes is not ulcers in your mouth, no. and it's not flu-like <laughs> no. symptoms. Cold this guy's got, like, something else going on. Cold sores don't do that, I, I, at least no. as far as I know, unless you got, like. Ulcers in your mouth. A weak is immune a system for some thing. reason, you know Even what I mean? Even then, I don't think. Well, I mean, that's uh, canker sores are, are a form of herpes. Yeah. It's different than and cold sores. And I don't know if those are considered ulcers. That's though, different. Would you? No, I wouldn't consider I don't think that's an ulcer. I guess it's Like, it I sounds like this guy has something else horrifically wrong with the him. The flu like oh. symptoms is what's kind of strange. Yeah. Though. Well, that goes along with herpes. Does it? Well, mm-hmm. but not, th- but that type of herpes? I think with any type, yeah. Oh, I don't really? Because, like, when you get chicken pox, it's like you get the flu. When you get shingles, you get run down. Like, I think they all come with a form of, um, you know, but really, this guy should be suing Jesus because most people are asymptomatic regardless yeah. of the form yeah. of herpes they have. Uh, well, Jesus it was like, you get I to be just, in the 30% of people who get this. How does this ruin his lawyer Well, career? that's the other thing. I don't thing. know, because I like, used to have a boss get... who would get giant, massive cold sores, and we would all just pretend they didn't exist, even though it was like half his face. So people can get... that's how polite people so are. So many people are born with uh, whatever type of herpes it yeah. is that uh, causes cold sores. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so like fucking... Most of the world has it. Yeah, so th- I don't think, like, my opinion is, literally I think this like is going to be a really 75% tough... 75% of the world. I think this is going to be a really tough case for him to prove in court. <laughs> yeah. That he got a cold sore specifically yeah. from Specifically from her, woman. yeah. Yeah, unless and he's got, like, documentation to prove. That, like, the day before he had an antibody test or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was like, you, sir, you've never had any herpes at all of any kind. So I think he's, I mean, this guy's, I don't think he's going to win his 230. This is, this is an uphill I don't battle. think he's going to win it either. Uh, speaking of lawsuits, that oh I wait don't, a second though, did the the, the next day I have day, a great transition. The you next always day, always love to interrupt. The, the you always day, love to interrupt my transition. I know the, it's not fun. The next day, did she mail him a black rose and a card that said, "I gave you herpes." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I gave yeah. you herpes. Do you remember the AIDS wife's tale that that's nope. based on? Oh, okay. No idea what you're Never talking mind. about. Then you don't get the joke. I'm glad you laughed though. Anyway, transition ruined. Continue. Fox News lawyer. <laughs> 
We got a Fox News story. We got a Fox News lawsuit, which, of course, Fox News is always getting sued. Every news company is always getting sued. Nothing new. But funny thing that a lawyer suggested, I'm sure you might have heard this, Fox News lawyer suggests no reasonable be- no reasonable viewer would think Tucker Carlson oh, is I saw news. This. Yeah. <laughs> so there's really not much to, to read here. Um, just that. Just the headline. I think um, that's true, though. I think if you're a reasonable person and you watched it, you wouldn't be like, oh, this is news. Well, My argument is that I don't think many reasonable people watch they're also, it. Fact, yeah. They're also specifically targeting non reasonable people. That's, yeah. And yeah. that's yeah. the problem. Their, it's kind of like Alex Jones. Like, I don't yeah. think any reasonable person would find Alex Jones to be like news. But no reasonable person watches Alex Jones yeah. like unironically. Well, wasn't that also an argument that was made in an Alex Jones lawsuit? Yeah, was so like, no, I'm an arg- actor putting on a That's character. actually one thing I want to say is, uh, you know, not only are like conservatives and right wingers guilty of this, but the article goes on to say like Rachel Maddow has claimed that nobody would take Rachel Maddow as real yeah. news. I would, I would basically what a agree cop with out. that though. <laughs> yeah, well, I would too. Yeah. But at the same time, like many people rely on these people for yeah. news and very much see them as news. Yeah. And um, they present themselves that way. Like, I don't I, for one, think Alan Jones is the new Walter Cronkite. <laughs> so to be fair, I don't really know what he's, it's, it's defamation, which in and of itself is like really mm-hmm. tricky of a legal area. Yeah. And I think it should be like you, as an entertainer, you should be able to kind of, you know, I'm mean, like John Oliver does defamation all mm-hmm. the time, but it's like clearly within the legal means of defamation. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, they never win. You have to like prove that somebody's maliciously yeah. and knowingly defaming you, and it's basically impossible. Yeah, well, and I think that's a good thing, though. I agree. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. good. No, I, I agree. think defamation should be hard to prove. I don't think they're gonna like they're not gonna win this case against Tucker Carlson. I think you like to prove defamation. I don't know the legal term, but just to me as a layman, I would think like, okay, you have to prove that your intent was like literally yeah. to ruin my malicious life, malicious, yeah. and you knowingly put out bad. Like, even if yeah. you put out like, like malicious false slander. information, you have to like know it was false mm-hmm. uh, and like have a malicious intent behind putting that information out so like you are trying to get that person like prosecuted in some and way and prove for, that it's kind of like uh like as long as they don't say that it's, there's no proof yeah. you know what i mean yep so that that was uh just a little sidebar that i thought was kind of fun that is funny. Uh, i got yeah, a, i've heard that what's your guys favorite tucker tucker carlson <laughs> jam which mixtape of his is your favorite Damn. i really like um his album 314 <laughs> about st louis <laughs> yeah <laughs> Uh, I got a hilarious video. I actually saw this video. I didn't find the news story with it until I was looking them up today. Um, I saw this first on uh, Public Freakouts. It's fucking hilarious. I got a video to throw up here. Hopefully it loads. Being taken into custody, the man explained to us that it wasn't the safe that he was after. It was the bank's microwave. You did that for a Hot Pocket? Yes. Oh, that for a Hot Pocket. You broke into a bank for a Hot Pocket? Hot Pocket. Hot pocket. pocket. <laughs> Is it worth it? Hell yeah, it's worth it. Hell yeah, it's worth it. Hot pocket? Hell yeah. It's when he sings the Hot Pocket song. Yeah. It really kind of grabs you there. This he is not a brilliant identified. criminal defense. He did tell us that he is homeless, and the police uh, yeah. say that the burglar yeah. alarm went off around right. 3.30 this morning. So, uh, man says he broke into San Diego's Wells Fargo Bank to heat up his Hot Pockets. I thought I had an uncensored video somewhere where he goes, fuck yeah, it was worth it. A Hot Pocket? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just love what he Even censored, it's great. It. Hot, hot Pocket. pocket. <laughs> hot Pocket. Yeah. Like that was great. Um, like, that guy's a legend, man. That's yeah. Amazing. No, I I hope somebody represents him for free after no, that. No, I guarantee yeah. you there's no way he actually goes down for like robbing a bank. Oh yeah. You know oh I mean? no. no. Maybe no. like trespassing. Yeah. yeah. Which is a pretty minor thing. He'll charge. be in jail for six months and be like, all right, air conditioning. Yeah. 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 Right. At least hopefully. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. Not, there's yeah, places it's here. The in workhouse St. Louis. in yeah. St. Louis. But Let's this, not talk about that. This That's is California. Yeah. Like they're better to their prisoners, I think, in California. Okay. Hopefully. Sure. I'm not advocating. <laughs> Hopefully, the California prison. I doubt system. it. I should... I'm just saying we basically live in Alabama, guys. Like the prison, the jails here are worse than in a lot of places. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they're yeah. horrific. Uh, so, guys. Hot pocket. Um, <laughs> we can, can we do a? Can you make a note to follow up like two months from now and <laughs> see, see how this guy's guy doing? Like yeah. where his case is at. We check oh up shit! This. I don't have this article actually. If in... we need to start a petition to keep him out of real jail, I'm in. We should. <laughs> I don't have this article uh, in here. Maybe I have the the website somewhere but um i do have the headline which is pretty interesting <laughs> uh pandemic may be contributing to increase in male genital injuries what no. what so what? i thought you were gonna say male genitals i didn't like, know no that? i just kept waiting for the next word 
And I assumed like male pregnancy was well, the, first the one male coming. genital. I assumed it was gonna be like warts or nope. something. Honestly, so I don't know if you guys. Probably that too. Injuries. I don't know if you guys know this, but right now there is a a global pandemic going on. What we are still unaware. here in the studio. You know, it's nice. There's only the three of us. We're uh, social distancing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you know. So there's a global pandemic. It's people okay, are at Dan. home. We people are at home. People are doing more things. You we're know in, what I mean? We're in a bubble. We're, we're fine because we're in a bubble. That's right. Uh, more people are, you know, do, they're, they're doing their own things at home. They got a lot of free time on their hands. So, you know what's happening? A lot of people are using that free time to hurt their dicks. Oh, is it like masturbation? There's a lot Like, are of... people whacking off too hard or too much or with weird shit? So, I've seen a <laughs> lot of them. <laughs> How do I... these two bricks feel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've seen a lot of different... So, researchers from the University of British Columbia... I've seen, Columbia a, lot, seen a lot of different dick injuries. <laughs> are, ...are wondering whether the COVID-19 pandemic is to blame for an increase in genital issues... Injuries, Undoubtedly. I'm sorry. Among the greater Victoria... Among, I'm sorry. Restart that. (laughs) Uh, COVID-19 pandemic is to blame for an increase in genital injuries among men in the greater Victoria area. In greater Victoria is what it is. I guess that's just the place. Victoria, is this Canada? That's what I thought. I don't know what greater Victoria is. It's the better version of. There's like (laughs) shittier Victoria and greater Victoria. Well, they mean like the greater St. Louis area. It's capitalized. You, do you capitalize Greater St. Louis area? I don't know, I maybe. Don't know. Anyway, All after right. six men were treated for such injuries in the reason, region in a span of a week, um, that doesn't seem like that many dick injuries in a. In a, in a week? It is in Canada, <laughs> with a famously elderly population. Oh no! Male, uh, male genitin. Wait, hold on. I have the perfect thing for this. I have the perfect thing for this. We're, we're, we're waiting. Hold on. We're waiting for <laughs> genitin. Male. Genital. Genitourinary. Genitourinary trauma <laughs> is rarely encountered. We likely do not see more than a handful cases, handful of cases per year. The six injuries included two incidents in which men experienced penile fractures during heter- They specified during heterosexual intercourse with their partners. Weird. Uh, Why on- did you need to specify what kind of sex it I was? I know. I'm surprised they weren't like, listen, and this is the style they were getting they down. They do say that, actually. <laughs> do they uh, really? With, <laughs> listen, <laughs> these old fucks were cramming missionary and no, they done it nope, in a long nope, time. Nope, nope. They were doing, uh, they were on top. Their partner was on top. The oh. woman was riding their dick. You know, when yeah. it's on top, it wants Why to flow this it way. Why giving so much information <laughs> As well this? as one instance of a painful erection that lasted four days. Oh, my this God. This is where you heard me like... Uh, Go uh earlier. Yeah, because um, that leads wha- to like necrotic I, tissue I and shit. Stop, Chris, dude. Come on. That leads to like necrotic tissue and shit, though. So there was also one instance instance of a ruptured testicle sustained while Ooh. riding an all-terrain vehicle, one instance of penile pain resulting from frequent masturbation, and one instance in which a man's penis was bitten by a dog. What? Okay. okay. Go ahead. That's it. Well, I was just going to say, like, in an entire town, one guy jerking off too much and hurting himself. That doesn't yeah. seem like news. And two fractured Guy dicks. getting his dog bit by a dog, or uh, his dick bit by a yeah. dog. Yeah. But was... everything else sounds pretty <clears throat> normal. So it goes on to say, while these injuries are varied in nature, each one relates in some way to the COVID-19 pandemic. <laughs> They're like, surely. What way? It is difficult to say certain whether these cases would have occurred uh, had the, the stay-at-home orders not been put in place. What the fuck? I don't oh, under is this okay. written with like so, a side agenda of being like this is why it's wrong. This to is have. why this is uh, this is like the modern uh you know how like uh Kellogg, the guy who yeah. made Kellogg's was like, Don't masturbate, it's yeah. terrible. This is the modern Protestant like shame thing uh coming in because they're like, see what happens if you stop working nonstop? You break your dick. <laughs> you, you you touch it till you break it. You fracture like, it. Like and, and this is This is from I the Canadian to, Ur- Urological Association I mean, Journal. I think North American The nonsense. weirdest thing about this is how specific the article got with the sexual details of the fractured dicks. It makes sense Reverse because doggy style. But well, straight sex. Doggy style in the straight sense that a dog sex. bit one later. That's <laughs> that's that's why they specified is because they're like, look, this is the array of injuries. But I also feel like this is just them being sensational to get 
Because, I mean, come on, like one guy, one of them is literally just the guy who beat off too much in her yeah. stick. Like in St. Louis, there's probably 7,000 men right now <laughs> at, at a minimum who are who like, who have that problem. The one I did, uh, for one, the rupturing your testicles sounds awful. Yeah, that's sounds uh, But the one that the one that I Happened was to a friend like of mine in elementary school. Ooh. Befuddled yeah. by was the uh, four day erection. He that's, popped too much pills. Yeah. That's, or maybe mix some pills. Can you imagine? Having an erection for four yeah, days. Go I'm to the fucking doctor sure beforehand your, your before dies. it reaches four yeah, days. Yeah, sure rotting is. tissue starts to set in and shit. There's no, your blood is not circulating. No, it's not good for your dick to be hard that no, long. No, that's why they say go to a doctor if it lasts longer than four hours yeah. on like dick pills and shit. I don't know about you guys, but if I have an erection that lasts more than 20 minutes, I get a Dan on it like, <laughs> right away. It's the only solution. It's like a cold compress. That's in the disclaimer, <laughs> It actually. brings it down. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I got to say about that. Uh, we're kind of Canada. We're kind of winding down our stories for tonight. Um, I have a couple more videos. I think maybe yeah, two more. Let's do this one. This one's pretty quick. This one's fucking gross. Like not like ah, no 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 bye. no no not that kind of gross. Like <laughs> oh the good gross. No yeah. like, the gross that everybody loves. Pervy. You know what oh, I mean? Gross. Okay. Yeah 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> LG Poland apologizes for an ad showing how good its phone is at taking upskirt photos. Oh. Mm. Let me show you the ad in question. <laughs> what the um, fuck? It's not this like came out now. I can show this because it's not like it's like an ad, so it doesn't obviously show like. Um, oh, hold on, hold on. It doesn't obviously show um, like an actual upskirt. Let me restart it. I don't know if this is. Is this the real. actual song they play for this the ad? This is real, Chris. You say you don't know if it's real? Uh, no, just let it play out, and I will. Okay, I'll come. It's a TikTok again. ad. LG, so that's that? it. That's LG and uh, Poland. Oh, wait, LG. Like the phone. Life's good. good. They repl- they actually put that, yeah, out that on their TikTok. Them. Like companies have TikToks now. Yeah. Okay, and they that's use it to the part advertise. I was missing. Yeah. So that's their actual ad, ad that they put out. That's yeah. their TikTok video, which is It'd be an like ad, if they did yeah. like a Facebook ad kind of thing. It's not like yeah, yeah, the yeah. same as like a cable ad. Because it's whatever. obviously like mm-hmm. meant to look like it's on a phone. And yeah. Yeah. And it's for some reason a young man with an old man's face. So in that ad, it by the like way. like the Six Flags Yeah. Guy. So in that ad, for people who, who couldn't see it, um, there's an old man, a, a pervy looking old he man. He looks there's, like a, the Six he's Flags only, man. Yeah, there's a ages. young man wearing a rubber face mm-hmm. to look like an <laughs> yeah, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's taking photos of a woman walking up the stairs and then she she catches him. And she, th- she thinks she's catching him taking upskirts. And then she goes to look at his phone and, like, can't find her upskirts. And then he turns around and then scrolls through his phone and all the upskirts are there. And he gives a thumbs up. And then it it's, says TikTok LG Poland. There How were, the fuck did that there get were upskirts? made? It wasn't. It's insinuating a, upskirts. It's insinuating upskirts. Yeah. It's just, like they're not showing it upskirts. Ha- it it happened so quickly that I just couldn't. All I saw was stupid. I, so I, I couldn't, don't, like work in social media or anything like that. I know, right? It's shocking. You should start. Uh, it's terrible. <laughs> no, thank you. I would rather die. Uh, doing like media stuff, promotional media stuff for like big companies. But I imagine it's more than just a single person who like shoots <laughs> it and then uploads it. Nobody else in between. Yeah. That's the only thing I can think of happening that would make that video coming out make any sense yeah. at all. How this, did like how did not a single person see that yeah. and be like, no? This should make you more disturbed. Is I used to work in social media and I know that there are at least twenty people involved. <laughs> see, that's in yeah, like, I don't least, understand. Especially that's a company like LG is probably bigger. Yeah. yeah, like even even like a small regional company that makes thermostats. There are literally ten mm. members of management that you talk to before a social media ad mm-hmm. gets out. Like it goes through a whole bunch of layers between. Between at least two companies, if not I more. I find it hard to believe that wasn't a single person that was like, mm, I don't know if you should maybe do that. Maybe not. <laughs> Ugh, gross. Is there the possibility, though, that that was a pre-existing thing that they were just like, like, is it possible that they didn't make that, that somebody else made that, and they were just like, ooh, that fits our thing. Here's four thousand dollars, whoever that belongs. I don't to. know We're if that gonna... happened too. That's still the same issue of having no, no, nobody I'm just, see an issue. I'm with baffled it. about how bad it looks, but yeah. then again, that's how I feel about most modern media. Yeah. So yeah. Yep. Yeah, it looked terrible at the same time. It did. Yeah. It looked very um, dated too. We have two stories left. Bef- well, one story before we get to our titular story, and then we're gonna move into uh, our one star reviews and uh, right. Connor's conspiracy co- corner, hosted by Paige. Me. Uh, so this one, we got another video, which, you know, videos are great. Videos are fun. 
Everybody likes videos. Page. Not everybody does. Um, go ahead and get that. You don't like videos, Chris? Mm-mm. No? Hate them. Everybody likes videos. Is about a man oh, I like all caution. these. This next story oh, is, about, yeah. is about a man who was arrested for displaying a wooden statue of a man's private parts. <laughs> You might want to look away if you think you might find the content offensive. The arrest I think I can show Here's a big Mark wooden dick. Brings us the story live from yeah, our Saratoga newsroom. And Mark, this is an unusual one. It certainly is, Jerry and Jackie. Police and prosecutors <laughs> say Jamie Gagne's wooden sculpture violates decency laws. Gagne says forcing him to take it down and arresting him violates his constitutional rights. Now, we're blurring out a portion of the seven-foot <laughs> pine structure, what? but... It's the balls so and tip blurred knows, out. Yeah, the, the base and the tip are blurred out. ...and placed it on the front lawn of his Ruggles Road home. It's just like a lawn. put it there nine days ago as an act of protest against the town of Wilton and a neighbor. The neighbor had been complaining to the town about noise coming from the construction <laughs> town, ordered him to <laughs> stop work on the workshop and revoked his permit. Gagne says people immediately started laughing and taking pictures of it. Shortly after it was up, he got a visit from a state trooper who told him he'd gotten a couple of calls but no official complaints. So he was a little surprised yesterday when two troopers showed up and told like him a the state trooper jurisdiction kind of thing? And he'd have There's to no again. balls. He used a yeah. physical lift and took or was it rocks or something? Waited, and then Maybe. They Maybe. I think they were on the ground. Public display of they weren't actually offensive attached. sexual They material. arrested him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Public display of when offensive sexual material. Like, oh, and I had to go down to the station, handcuffs and everything. That caught me a little off guard. I don't agree with what um, they did to Johnny Knoxville's stunt double. I don't either. Um, he did not deserve this. <laughs> he looks that better than Johnny Knoxville. I don't know. <laughs> He's I mean, younger. That's the only reason. <laughs> Now, Wilton Actually, he looks more like John Vince Vaughn's stunt double. He's happy that it's been taken down and says it was no way to express anger coming up at 5:30. What bullshit. All right. Uh so What total bullshit. What do you guys last, think about Last time I checked thing? This was America. That's what yeah! I was going to say. I was going to make the same joke. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought I woke up in America <laughs> That's today. Right. I will say just because if you can't see this, I was expecting like some kind of like intricate like work of art dick. Like some bloody grotesque. Like, like, yeah, it was literally like a log, log. that I assume I think it had, had like, like a, circular a, balls a dickhead the probably too. carved yeah. into the top. But it was literally just like a log. There was nothing really... It wasn't even like the most grotesque, not only veiny that, not only that, or anything. On it this looked yard. to me, it looked to me like it was kind of a more uh, rural area, not like an urban area or yeah. anything like that. So it's really shocking to me that like, like how far do you have to travel to see my wood dick sculpture on my yeah. house? You know what I mean? Like how it wasn't far? That lewd or anything? Did you have to travel like, like you know three miles away and drove drove past it on our gravel yeah. road? So I feel bad for this guy. I, I say we should start a GoFundMe to <laughs> yeah. to you know. Pay for his fees. Legal expenses. Yeah. I think what for he real, should he has do. had a big old like log dick in his yard. Yeah. It wasn't even like that vulgar. It didn't have like jizz streaming yeah. out of it. It would have been funnier like... if it did too. <laughs> he should he should start an LLC called LegalizedDick.com. LegalizedDick. Yep. And then put a fence up in front of it, and and not even charge people. Like say it's a <clears throat> it's an art installment. Yep. And let people for come by for free and write that shit off on his taxes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And That's then a good idea. And fight the, fight the man, you know, capitalize on that shit. I was just expecting Whatever so much is. worse. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. thought it was I was, so I was expecting like a clay, like, yeah, you know what I, I mean? Yeah, I expected like, more like features. Wouldn't it be yes. funny if it was a fountain at the top, it was spraying like it was pissing? <laughs> you know what's crazy about that? Like in, they had a hose in, in it. In textbooks we give to children, there's like statues in Europe of children mm -hmm. peeing on each other and yeah. shit. Like, yeah. like, like grandmas like, still have those. Yeah. Like, like some grandmas totally still fine. have like two children pissing on each other. As <laughs> yeah. A yeah. Why is this more offensive in any way? What's so wrong you know? with this? Um, I, f I feel like this is much less offensive than Precious Moments. Uh, <laughs> dolls. Yeah. Horrific. I've seen much worse. Like you ever seen some bumper stickers? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like bumper stickers threatening to like kill me. You know what I mean? Oh, or like yeah. rape me. Yeah. <laughs> like there are some fucked There's some up fucked bumper, up bumper stickers. stickers, dude. Yeah. Um, but speaking of something that's not fucked up and is just kosher, <laughs> this is where we get our title this evening. Honestly, it's not our funniest story, but I know what this pretty is. Pretty fun, do you? Yeah. You hear about this? Yes. Uh, kosher lube. Yep. Okay. Puts oral <laughs> sex on the menu for Orthodox Jews. Which I just want to say. I had no idea there was pork in. Uh, <laughs> no, it's more than that, isn't it? Yeah, there's more that goes into making something kosher. Um, I just ahead. think it's funny because 
I don't think lube is stopping people from not having kosher lube is stopping people from not having oral sex. <laughs> They're like, wait no. a minute, I can't go down on you. I don't have lube. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't think that's exactly. My mouth's dry today. They're acting like this is just dry as opening up like oral sex for for well, strictly Jewish people. <laughs> they had too many dill kosher pickles. Mm. And dry, and all the vinegar dried <laughs> what? out their mouth. What? Is that what happens? Now they need kosher I lube. I don't know. Um... So anyway, yeah, it's not exactly, it's not designed for like topical because there's nothing like pro- pro- prohibiting like what you put on topically um, in the Orthodox Jew, Jew, Judaism. Judaism. <laughs> Judaism. <laughs> um, but it's Good for job. specifically like, I guess, I think it was more of a way like, you know, sometimes people use lube and like, let's say maybe, you know, something ends up in your mouth later, <laughs> later on and you get a little bit of lube and you swallow it. Like they don't yeah. want you to think like you're a, you're a bad Jewish person. Jewish person. Yeah. I think they're overthinking it then. You think yeah, they're overthinking it? I do too. Yeah, what do you mean? I just wonder. It's a religion. Of course they're overthinking <laughs> okay, so it. So yeah. what, what goes into being kosher? I don't know. I'm not an it's Orthodox Jew. It's the same Jew. as like halal. It has yeah, to, it's do, like, it has to do with preparations and yeah. things you consume and like ways that they're okay, prepared. But, but mm-hmm. not everything that you consume has to be blessed or, mm-hmm. you no. know what I mean? But certain things do. So what is it in regular loop that's not, co- <laughs> that's not that's kosher? Not kosher is that's what a I'm great getting. point. I don't know. Um, All I'm saying is that I'm pretty sure this we're, they're not going to be like revolutionizing sex for the Hasidic Jewish community no. to now have oral sex because they have kosher they're, lube. <laughs> Yeah. It's a specific brand too, which makes me actually think like it it's like uh so it's called it's called Wet Ecstasy, right? <laughs> and I, I like to think it's like Wet Ecstasy, sponsored by the Orthodox Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Kosher Wet Ecstasy. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what is in lube because like nothing's food in lube. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying there, Chris. Yeah, maybe there's a lot of salt let me, in it. <laughs> let me do some research. You're gonna do some research on <laughs> what's in the lube? Why isn't lube kosher? <clears throat> It, I think it has to do with I don't know, I don't want to know this. <laughs> Does the audience want to know it? Uh, why isn't it? I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to find out. You keep talking. I'm gonna keep. I talking. don't know what to talk about anymore. Well, uh, I just keep wanting to make a certain um, joke about something that super ultra orthodox rabbis do during circumcision and whether or not that's co- kosher <laughs> <But> <laughs> it's not really kosher with me i'll be honest but i don't know what our level of tolerance is and i don't want to go are we are very tolerant people okay so don't say any of the things i was gonna no, say. no we're just very tolerant but i we, don't we, i don't no, really I mean, like people I mean, putting their mouth on baby dicks either okay Chris, i was gonna as say as much are, as are the next dicks, guy are baby dicks hey you said switch screens i'm going you got a lot to do. What are you, what are you learning about? Uh, okay, so this happened in 2013. The first kosher lube was introduced called Wet, which makes Wait. me wonder if it was the same company. Uh, and now they're trying to cash it. The got, no, it got its certification new. for non-edible items in the kosher industry, but the Rabbinical Council of California was like, we didn't know what this was for. <laughs> and mm. so they took back the kosher blessing. Oh, okay, that's why it's blessing. on here again. Yeah. So this and is this is 2013. Again. Long after this, baby dicks were still culture. Uh, our oh, this culture article is from 2013. I just I just pulled a really old article. I'm yeah. sorry, guys. I didn't mean to. Uh, but so that's what I found about it. I still don't know why. I don't know well, what makes it non. So I, it's it might cold just, now is what you're telling me, though. Yeah, they gave it its blessing, and then they were like, "We didn't know what this was for. We take it back." Wait a second. <laughs> so it's not even kosher anymore yeah but i just I also, went on this whole huge well, thing about thing. how this loops loops kosher and it's not even well, anymore that's what i'm trying to find out is does it need to be is it even anything that would right. actually or was it just like kind of no like a publicity yeah 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 like i don't know if it needs drum to be up publicity for the kosher. church you know what i mean <laughs> you know what else is kosher yeah, no, with it's us not, it's not kosher but anymore sex oh yeah do that <laughs> anybody who wants to with anybody else who wants to and is old enough. But sex for Jesus. You guys got anything else to say about it? I bet you Jesus would here? have been fine. He was friends with whores and <laughs> he was, Jesus was like, give me the least of us. We'll live together in a cave and be friends. I'm he down was with butt sex. Jesus like, was I'm fine glad with your it. takeaway. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that uh, is actually going to conclude our news stories here for this evening. You guys got any other, other comments on them? Utter comments? Utter comments? Uh, Utters? Nope. <laughs> Yeah. That was nipple squirts for you out of my puffy nips. Out uh, of them puffy nips. <laughs> so anyway, that concludes all of our news segments, guys. But don't go anywhere yet because we have still more things to bring you, including our Google one-star reviews, which we're going to do right now. Woo! But before that, woo, woo. we're going to do uh, – I'm so oh, – fuck. Not before that. <laughs> After that. After that. During uh, it. 
during it. <laughs> Before, after, during. No, right now we're going to do our Google one-star reviews. And after that, we're going to conclude with uh, Connor's Conspiracy Corner. But let's move on to our Google one-star reviews, guys. For those of you who don't know what this is, we're going to pull up some various Google one-star reviews. Uh, these are all real. These are all hilarious. Mm -hmm. You guys have to guess either what type of business it is or where it is, specific name of the business, depending on what the, the thing is. I want a different answer from you. Holland. Person with the most points wins. <laughs> We can only have a tie if you both guess it. Okay. All right, so let's start like, with that. Like, does it have to be at the same Chris. time? Like, yes, like, it does. One, two, three, venture. <laughs> I, it's a venture store. I think everybody's going to get this one. So let's start off with okay. this. Uh, very disappointed I couldn't climb it because there was no handholds. Very disappointed to learn that she wasn't holding the Ten Commandments. She's not holding. Okay. Why did they call her the blank? She should burn herself with her own torch and the rest of the liberals. All right. Sweet home Alabama. Paige, I think we can... One, two, three. Statue the Statue of, of Liberty. Liberty. That's right. That one's the Statue of Liberty. Ding, 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 ding. That one's got to be fake, yeah, right? Definitely. Like that's Sweet be home sincere. Alabama. Yeah. yeah. Roll Tide. Yeah. <laughs> like that's all it's missing. This one, I want the specific chain's name. So you both get a point for that last one. Uh... Great pizza. This is a revised review. I changed it from five to one. Just got an email from blank saying they are getting rid of straws because they say, quote, making intelligent choices for our people and planet, end quote, which implies I'm too stupid to use straw. So they <laughs> they are straw. gong to take away to take my choice away. Unfortunately, I hate not having choices when I spend my money someplace. I did leave my original review. Pizza is good. Their corporate people need to understand their customers better and stop calling us not intelligent. Good way to lose people. Loose stop people. making loose people. Good way to stop lose making people. choices for people. One I like star. how this person's like, they think I'm dumb. And now let me illustrate why I am dumb. <laughs> yeah. Let me misspell every fourth yeah. word. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, also yeah. completely misinterpret this. Mm -hmm. the it's corporate funny because slogan. actually they spell everything right up until they say they're not dumb. <laughs> and, and then, then they spell everything downhill. wrong. Pizza it's hut. funny because it's Domino's. It's not Pizza Hut or Domino's. Oh. You're, Papa not, John's. you're not on the right chain. Mm. You're thinking of CC's. No, not CZ's. Uh, Chucky, uh, Chucky Cheese. There is some yeah. here. Mm. Some. Mm. And it, but it's it's a national chain. And there's a few that, yeah. Here. There's some here. There's this isn't one just here. This isn't even here. Where's the one here? Give me a general area. I think it's out hmm. in Chesterfield. I have no idea. Uh, it's a newer concept. What Cal is California what is Pizza Kitchen? New concept hey, pizza. Wow, El you're, you just dated yourself so much. New concept California pizza <laughs> kitchen. Their hot new chain from 1996. <laughs> what is new concept pizza though? Like it's pizza. Fair enough, is it like it's a, a not wood, really a new well, a wood fire one? What are they called? I don't know what it's called. I I have no idea. This is it's past. Like is nobody fire. gonna get this. No, I'm not. Should gonna I say it? it? Yeah. This is Blaze Pizza. I've never I've heard never, of that. I've You've only never heard, heard of Blaze. I've heard right? of it. I've never even. I've heard I don't of know it. if it's like. I don't know how Blaze Pizza works. It's got like a thing. It sounds <laughs> fire, dog. It's like, like, it's they, like wood fire. But I think like you like maybe put oven. your pizza toppings on and then they do. A, I don't know. I don't want oh, to do like the work. I don't fucking like that. I hate that. I don't want to go to a restaurant to do the work. Yeah. No, I agree. You know. I don't want to go to a workaround. Yeah. I'm not gonna go there and make my own fucking food. I can do this at home fuck yeah. you do you I wanna, wanna, when i oh, pay shit. 30 dollars for a pizza i would like it to be made by a professional yeah. that like all they do is make pizza give yeah. me a good pizza i can make i can make the cecil whitaker's pizza at home okay yeah using all the schnooks products yeah. like a good st louis boy but i still <laughs> get that yeah. emos instead now let me I'm, ask you I'm in emos. let me ask you a question <laughs> when you do go to a uh, restaurant though do yeah. you fully expect that when you go to a restaurant if you don't eat all your meal you get compensated for what you didn't eat Wait, what? Well, that's what this reviewer thought. <laughs> they, they get like refunded for the what? amount they don't eat. So I want you to tell me what kind of restaurant this is. I eat half okay. my burger. I will okay. tell you it's a restaurant. I ordered 60 or so blank because I thought they were in sale, but it turned out to be something else that was that as on sale. Mm. But anyways, I, I was also with my kids, so we were all eating blank, and then they gave me the bill, and I saw it was over $100, which I didn't have. And since me and my kids haven't eaten 30 or so of the blank, I told the waitress I'd give them back for a refund for all the blank we didn't eat. She refused. <laughs> all it should letters. be every restaurant's policy that the customer is always right. Always. Oh, Jesus. 
So then I had to leave my kids at the restaurant and had to drive to the nearest ATM and get enough money for the bill. This Hold is not on. okay, Whoa. and I will not be returning anytime soon. Two points. Was the waitress like, leave your children here as collateral <laughs> yeah. for these chicken wings? Because it's chicken wings. It's not yeah, chicken it's, wings. Oh, what? damn. It's not chicken wings. Tacos? You thought for sure not chicken tacos. wings. Not tacos. I got wings. What else do you order? Ribs? 60 of. Ribs? Not ribs. Oh, yeah. 60 ribs would be a lot of ribs. Yeah. <laughs> a one star also. Uh, I do want to also say... Um, I thought she didn't have the money. Yeah. What do you mean she went to the fucking ATM for yeah. the money? Yeah. Chances are, I bet you this restaurant took card. Yeah, probably. Well, again, guys, we've all been in the service industry, right? Mm -hmm. And if there was a $100 bill and somebody was like, I have $30, I can leave you with my children or leave now. I think as a rational manager, I would have been like, give us whatever you want and just leave and don't and come don't back. Don't ever fucking don't come ever back. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? I wouldn't have been like, what is this a leave your manager children of a a movie theater, popcorn? Nope, you're wrong. I'm uh, just, I thought... I thought maybe th I ordered thirty popcorns. Six, <laughs> I thought, like wings, thirty is the kernels. Only thing that makes sense. Wings, no, it doesn't. Tacos, cheese sticks. I'm looking at you, Paige. Tacos, Why? burritos. Do I eat a lot of this? What is it? I eat a lot of things. It's mutton. You could definitely have thirty of them. I could have thirty of them. Thirty mutton. Easy. Well, I, I you would order thirty maybe. Lamb chops. I don't understand. Imagine Hush so. Puppies. So imagine so. This isn't pizza, but imagine like. You don't order 30 pizzas. Imagine if you ordered a pizza, you would say that there was eight pizza slices left, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, think along those lines. Come on. It's not pizza, though. Come on, come on. This, I'm just asking you to name the food at this point. Cookies? Who the fuck has a cookie restaurant? I don't know. Mrs. Where is Fields, one down the my, street My from good us? friend, Mrs. Sure, Fields, has a cookie restaurant. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Her first name is Karen. <laughs> think more in, like, meals, not fun snacks. Come on, Paige. This is on the tip of your You're tongue. You know it. Chicken strips. No. Other forms of chicken. Is it you no got, chicken? Think fancier. Fancier. Sushi. Boom. Sushi. Bada bing, bada boom. It's Because that's important to the story because oh, of course it was over $100. Sushi? Yeah. Who the fuck orders that much sushi? 60 for rolls you of and your sushi. Kids? Of Holy course shit. it was over $100. And that's of course so you can't much. return it. Actually, yeah. that sounds like a pretty good deal. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right? I was going to say, like 60, that's like, it's like $2. <laughs> it's like 40 cents a roll. But yeah. also, like, disgusting. Okay. We have all, we've worked in the food industry. Oh, no, I'm so you're right. Like a buck fifty. I have worked at enough places where I had to bring food to children. And one time specifically, this is just one of hundreds of examples. A kid, as soon as I set a flatbread pizza down on the table that was going to be shared by everyone, stuck his finger all the way in his mouth, twisted it around, and then just stuck it right in the pizza. Gross. Do you want to get that yeah, back exactly. if they don't eat it? Children are fucking disgusting and touch everything. Also, this I'm not that, taking that food back to the it's kitchen. It's also literally... Illegal. illegal. Yeah. You can't yeah, 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 you can't do that. Yeah. What do you like they have it's to like, throw it away? Yeah. yeah. You you are not there's a, there's literally a hard line in a restaurant between the front and back. Yeah. And you are not allowed to take food once it crosses that line. Back you cannot it. take it back. No. It and I know this wasn't written away. during the pandemic, but now even yeah. during the pandemic. Yeah. Like what an just the thought, you know what I mean? Bitch yeah. though. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay. Always always right. Always. always Again, right. I think the, like, the the most interesting thing here is the untold story of she left her children there as collateral for 40 rolls of sushi. I'll you be back. I, mean? like, I have my kids holy here. Shit, yeah. Yeah. Uh so let's see. Is that We have one more. Paige has two points or yeah, Paige has two, Chris has one. You guys both missed one of them. Did you get the sushi one? She yep. got the sushi one okay. after so many hints. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this one's actually this funny. This is why I should date the host so that I win this game. This one's actually, you wouldn't have guessed it based on those clues. I mean, you could I would have never if you just have knew your friends I've never better. Eaten sushi. <laughs> I love and sushi. shame on me for not knowing any of your interests. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, guys. Yeah. My, I'm just going to go ahead and leave. Sushi. So this, re <laughs> this review I specifically got because of the owner's very response. Very rude. Yeah. yeah, so very rude, says it's the, the one review. Star one review. star response from owner. We're sorry that being told we don't do $10 blank over the phone made you feel that way. Hand jobs. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. $10. Orders? Oh. Pizzas? Not looking for the word orders. Pizzas? <laughs> Burritos? No. No. Phone sex? No. Uh, is this a restaurant? It is not food. Okay. Oh. Massages? Nope. Therapy? Nope. Uh, Art? Paintings? Nope. Oh, wait, art? Yeah. We don't, no. do <laughs> I don't we know. don't do $10 music over the phone here. I don't here. know. What do you think? No, I'm no, some no. kind of Nickelodeon? <laughs> don't, so don't focus too much on the over the phone part. They're saying it over the Sorry, phone. Not that, um, not that like they don't do oh. the service over the phone. 
Does that make sense? Like photo sessions? No. No? But yes, like you're, now you're thinking the right way. Like, of course, okay. they don't do photo sessions over the phone. $10. I keep coming back to hand jobs. Come on, guys. <laughs> Think like something like uh, way more people have. Like how many people you know they get photo shoots? Not many, but way more people you know have this, have done this and have this. Engagement photos, wedding photos. It's not photos. Oh. It's not photography. I don't Sorry, we don't do ten dollar weddings over the phone. Yeah. No. Um. It's not. Sorry, we don't related. do ten dollar painting. Gynecological said appointments. Oh. Come on, guys. Uh, All right. So art. Give us more hints. Art. Body, mind, soul. Yoga. Just kidding about mind and soul. Actually, is it yoga? Art and body. Sorry, we don't do ten dollars body painting over the Come phone. Come on, guys, closer. Piercings. So, closer. Tattoos. Bada bing, yeah. bada boom. Yeah. Gross. I would not want to get a tattoo if it was ten dollars. Yeah, yeah. Unless it's like a charity thing. Yeah. So. I don't want my skin oh, to slew so, off. So what happened here is somebody was like, "Look, I just want this little heart on my wrists, and it should be ten dollars." And they were like, "We're not going to quote you." Yeah. Ten dollars on that. Yeah, and then they left a one star review and said, "Very, Very rude. rude." So congratulations, Paige. Woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're the winner. You get what you win. What? Absolutely nothing. nothing. Oh, thank you. But you know what you do get to win? <clears throat> the pleasure of doing our next segment. Now it's time for Connor's Conspiracy Corner. Host about page. page. <laughs> we planned that, guys. I love we this. We planned that one. Really out. exciting intro. Yeah. And now my laptop will turn. So Connor's not here this evening, guys, but we are still doing a conspiracy corner as Paige tries to get her laptop loaded up. She's got That's a good, good one good, for good. us. It's a banger. It's a short one. I will say it's not very long. It's still Connor's mm. conspiracy corner. It's but with oh, Paige. Yes. Don't look. You can't see this. You gotta pull it closer because I can't resist the oh, urge. I can't read yeah. around my mic. Then. Here, just hold it. Here, like, here. I'll put it. This hold way. it somewhere right around here. <laughs> that's, Chris that's is putting perfect. it up in her face. Uh, okay. Switch to you. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, in the in the crazy times we live in right now, right? We can't rely on a whole lot of stuff. We're finding out. You know, everything's kind of falling apart. Stuff's really different. Stuff is changing. Yeah. But there's one thing that we can always rely on throughout time forever. We have paintings. We have depictions. It goes way back. It's the moon, right? Yeah. Mm. The moon will always be there for us. Love the moon. That's what my pappy always told me. He said, boy, you can rely on the moon. You can count so, on the moon. So, what if I told you guys the moon is not real? What? It is, in fact, a, hol a hologram. It does not exist. Oh, I've heard this before. <clears throat> Holographic so, moon. Most of my information comes from one source. Uh, it is a video called Updated. The moon is not what you think. All right. <laughs> Was the previous video the moon's exactly what you think? <laughs> I, don't, I couldn't find a previous one, so I don't know. Guys, the moon's this exactly was, what they say it is. The updated. No, correction. it's not. <laughs> Front page. So, correction. Moon is not what you think. Uh, this video goes into uh, this, this guy's main complaint his main source for why it's not real is he was filming the moon for a year and it was actually really cool he was filming through a telescope and he got some really interesting shots they're super close up he got video during the day during the night like really impressive cool stuff uh but at one point he's like i noticed i noticed something there's a holographic wave that goes across whenever he's recording one night and the way it looked to me in the video that i saw this there's two clips of it happening is like you guys remember on old tvs where sometimes it would get that like wave mm -hmm. that would kind of just yeah, pan yeah, yeah, down yeah. across it it was that and it happened like twice uh and he, he, he saw a scan line or whatever you pretty call much it, yeah it, it does it just looks like an old tv where it kind of just like pans mm -hmm. down it um he said it is obviously organic and not from the camera he said he tried just <laughs> looking at the moon but he couldn't see it that well because it's so far away mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I picture a guy, like, he pulls the microphone away and is like, pulls his glasses down and looks real close. Yep. Uh, and he says that him panning the camera up and down proves it because the wave catches up to the camera. And so you don't see it anymore. This sounds like jello screen. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. Like if rolling you move shutter. your camera. It's roll, like, it sounds like rolling especially shutter. Especially on digital cameras. If you, yeah. if you rock it back and it's forth a, a bunch of times. Yeah. Yeah. You get, yeah. you get, roll, you get yeah. rolling shutter. Yeah. It's yeah. a digital camera. Um, he, he mentions that he, he isn't positive that's a hologram. He's not entirely sure what's going on there, but that's what he's calling it for lack yeah, of a better word. Something. Might be a mystical uh, witch's situation. And so there's a few different kind of theories that come together for this one. 
they don't there are some people that think that the actual moon is there um and there's one person that hypothesizes that you can actually see through the seas on the moon whenever you're zoomed in real close and you can see structures underneath it. And so some people think that it's a hologram over the actual moon. Did you say seas? Yeah. As in the like ocean? The, the old, oh, the what you, they call it the sea of. Yeah. I thought you meant the letter seas. No. <laughs> sea, like what used to be oceans. Or <laughs> when you catch the moon on the horizons, you can see the strings <laughs> that hold her up. <laughs> or I guess just airs that they call the sea on the moon. Uh, but they say that you can actually see through that and you can see structures underneath it. <clears throat> Um, so there are some people that think that they're just hiding what they're actually doing on the moon from us, Which is so we don't get to day. see it. There's a lot of different. Uh, I don't a, want the answer usually. <laughs> there's a lot of different things that come together for this theory. Um, so that's one theory is that we just uh, don't need to see what's going on on the moon. They don't want us to know what's going on, so they have a hologram yeah, over it that looks normal. The movie Moon is what's happening. Sam Rockwell's <laughs> up there with a bunch Getting of his clones. clones. Yeah. Uh, there are other theories. That helium three. That it's a hologram to hide Planet X, so that we can't see Planet <laughs> X behind it. So that's one theory. Um, I want to see Nibiru coming. And then one of <laughs> one of the last theories I read about it was uh, so obviously if the moon's a hologram, then the moon landing is fake because the yeah. moon isn't real. Obviously, right. right. And so at the time of like the big space race, we were dumping a ton of money into NASA. And scientists have gone back and looked you just at. Quoted scientists. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make that. Yeah, I air quoted scientists. <laughs> NASA um, have have looked at the budget and say they can only come up with a tiny portion of it, and it doesn't make sense. Like, where did the rest of the money go? So the theory is that they have a hologram of the moon to hype up people so that we can funnel all this money into NASA, which is then funneled into an underground shadow government. Oh, and that's where the lizard people live. Yes, that's and the basis so, of their economy. You'll notice I brought up in the beginning that we have all these depictions of the moon, like in art and in history. Like it goes way back. On so, houses. So like, yeah. So like, how did we, how, how is it a modern thing that we have a hologram on the moon? What is that about? Yeah, right. So either they are depicting a sun or a different celestial body. <laughs> pretty different. Or they have been put there uh, in the early 20th century by the U.S. government to assure the masses that the moon is real and always has been real. That makes more sense, actually. Yes. And my my reference that I kept going off of says that this is obviously depicted in the DreamWorks logo. <laughs> Didn't you elaborate know. on yeah. how, <laughs> but just that the DreamWorks logo exists, and therefore it, pro it proves the moon is fake um, and a hologram. Well, here's the thing, <laughs> right? Imagine that it's uh, you're running NASA mm -hmm. and the federal government, mm -hmm. and you're trying to prove the moon exists. And you just three years earlier murdered the president that promised we'd go to the moon. Yeah. Right. You're like, okay, well, we got to create a fake moon to go to. Hey, there's a Steven Spielberg guy. He's 14 right now. <laughs> let's let's cue him on what's going on. That way, uh, in the 80s, he can create Amblin Entertainment and have a moon. Yep. Um, and eventually, then found DreamWorks. Yeah. And the other the other reference was uh, Stanley Kubrick and The Shining. Okay. And you can tell it's well, you can tell it's fake because Danny wears a sweater that has NASA and a rocket on it, uh, and he stands up as he launches the rocket. I still don't understand what that means or how that proves anything, but that was one of the things that was brought up. Well, I think that what that was was an art director who was like, oh, hey, he's got a rocket on his shirt. Let's have him play with a rocket. And yeah. He, no, this was a, this guy's evidence for it, uh, for the well, moon not being real. We all know <laughs> that the moon landing was filmed by Stanley Kubrick. This yes. is not yeah, a thing yeah, that yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, haven't yeah. broached this on. And the reason. Connors we're waiting hit, to get the uh, research. Yeah. 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 And the reason. We have a team on it. <laughs> it was faked is because the moon is not real. It's mm. simply a hologram. But why? Shadow government. <laughs> Or to hide Planet because, X. Or because we don't need to know what's going on on the moon. Those are the three things I found on why. What's think, going on on the moon? Think, mm, think about it, Think about it, guys, right? You get everybody all jazzed up. Everybody's all patriotic. They're mm -hmm. like, we got to go to the moon. John F. Kennedy said, we're going to the moon. Mm -hmm. what, was the, what was the budget to go to the moon? And what does that equate to? Like 50 to? bucks? No. No, it was like. It was at least. 217 million oh, it wasn't or like 50 like bucks? That. No. Adjust that for inflation. <clears throat> you could start your whole. You could fund shadow government. You, no, well, there's already a shadow <laughs> government. They're the lizard people, and yep. they live in a hollow earth. Yep. Right. It all comes mm -hmm. back around. We do know that. Think about how many flies you could buy to feed the lizard people. Yep. On there are on that much in in sixties money. I will say there are a lot of crossover theories that kind of dip into this. Like flat earthers have a take on. Oh, like all of these the conspiracy moon not theories existing like the, end up intertwining. All the space NASA's evil space hoax stuff crosses into this. 
not that everybody who who thinks the moon landing was fake thinks the moon doesn't exist right. um but there is a, a small amount it uh it was interesting interesting research i will say that who was did you, did you say the guy's name or no No, i did not okay you're not going mm-hmm, to nope. right pierre leclid pierre nope, leclid but the video says... cool is called the moon is not what you think and there was a follow-up video called the moon is a luminary and then there was a follow-up follow-up video that said wait, wait. actually i'm <laughs> wrong that just mean the moon reflects light <laughs> yeah, i don't i don't know. which is true i yeah. don't know that's true <laughs> There's it's a oh, update. The moon's the other, real. The That's what I was going to say. <laughs> crossover that I almost talked about, but didn't feel like getting that in depth into it was something called Space Warden, which is about like a secret UN space force that has a whole bunch of fleets and ships and motherships. Oh, in space. that's real. Yeah, and so it could yeah. be Space Warden that's doing shit on the moon, and that's why they're hiding it with their hologram. Space Warden. Warden. Which, if you Google, brings up like a board game and a video game and a, like maybe comic series. <laughs> There's a lot of things, but. The secret space program, Black yep. Budget. Space Warden. That's what comes up first for me. There's some interesting crossover. Uh, the secret space program from the Huffington Post. These are legit sources, dude. Uh, no, but if you read that one, it's totally like an editorial conspiracy theorist oh. who is like, should we just throw this out? No, we should not. It I is obviously not. real. So oh, okay. <laughs> I read that one too. Interesting. But yeah, guys, so the moon is not real. All made up. It's made of cheese. It's or... a hologram for one of three reasons. That's you. You know, you're looking at it really as like a half his glass. Uh, the the half glass is glass half full. Half his glass full. The glass is half empty. When really, <laughs> maybe the moon's a real hologram. Mm-hmm. Instead of saying the moon's not real, mm-hmm. it's a real hologram. Well, there's also well, there's also uh, you know, maybe it is real, and there's a hologram over top of it, so that we yeah. can see what Space Warden's doing. Because they're Space mining it. There's a prison. <laughs> That's the prison where they send. Ooh. Um, Space Warden Ooh. sounds like it would be a character in like a B movie, like. Oh no! Better watch out, Space Warden's yeah, here. Yeah, it does. also sounds like a like a early two thousands techno band. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Space yeah. Warden sounds like a <laughs> like a yeah. driving EDM band. Like uh, similar to like I almost said Duhast, but that's not a band. No, Ramstein. Uh, Ramstein. Yeah. Duhast. Yep. Uh, Duhast. No, nope, I don't want to get sued. Yep. Oh and yeah, so, uh, that's I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was just you saying, is my interpretation yeah, yeah, that no. great? Yeah, yeah we're gonna get amazing. automatically muted. I'm like right on there. They're gonna auto detect on YouTube. Yeah. So that's what I had. All right, perfect. Short, sweet, and to the point. Moon's Short, not real. sweet, and to the point. Spread the word. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that looks like it's gonna conclude our podcast this evening, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, right I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Happy Father's Day to all them daddies happy out there. Happy Father's Day, daddy. I'm a daddy out there. You are a daddy, happy Chris. Father's happy Father's Day. Not only is he a father, yeah. but he's a daddy. Like yep. a straight up daddy. I'm a daddy yep. and a father. And guess what, guys? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this quietly. I got my first like real present from, from my kid. It wasn't just like, here's some macaroni doodles. I got like smart Aww, earbuds awesome. that like do, that do that's stuff. Awesome. I was like, I was like, I wasn't expecting to cross this threshold yeah. for like three more years. That's Damn, dude, like, I didn't even get my dad a, anything. I got a real present that was like really I didn't nice. get my dad anything. Yeah. I, I, I just feel bad. I texted him. You mine. should. That's enough. You should. Fuck you. <laughs> I got my I dad go beef to, jerky and a I didn't go to card. see him because they're hanging out with uh, my grandparents today. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want Which I don't want to hang out with my grandparents. I don't think that's a good idea. Oh, uh, yeah. It's fine for us young people to cough on each other. But yep. yeah. We should stay away from the oldies. I, the oldies. Oh, I don't know about that yep. terminology. Anyway, what guys. What would you want to call them? Seniors? <laughs> yeah. That's more. Listen. Old people want to be called oldies. I don't that's, know about okay. that. They want to be put, they want they to be put on radi- a piece of ice and pushed out into the ocean. <laughs> that's why they call it uh, oldies radio, not elderly radio. <laughs> yeah. You know? True. Senior radio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, be sure to, you know, like, like or subscribe or whatever you do. Whichever. Uh, not well, I don't know what whatever. you do Never on whatever do thing you're listening to, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I don't know what Spotify calls it or... Whatever you got to do to get new episodes, do that. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, you like got to you got to commit us? crimes to get new episodes yeah. of the Paracast. You better do it. On do it if app. that's if that's what the app requires. You know, do it. As long as they're petty mm-hmm. crimes, I don't really have a problem. It's like oh, that app. World yeah, app. I was gonna yeah. say it's the app. Yeah, Jesse got West World. Uh, it's crime app. You can watch the podcast on crime YouTube. App. So be sure to descri- subscribe to my YouTube. YouTube.com forward slash Dan Pearbig. Um I stream on Twitch. Four days a week or something, right? <laughs> yeah. Four? Give or take. Twitch.tv forward slash Dan Parabig. Give or take's the answer. Take, usually. <laughs> uh, and I'm on Twitter at Dan Parabig. So what do you what do you got, Chris? Oh, I'm just christening it up for a while until I get my, my legs under me. But then I'm going to take over the internet with my media empire yep. shortly. Yep. Makes His sense. media hemp pyre. My media <laughs> hemp pyre. 
we're going to have lots of rope and sage. Online hemp. Online hemp. Mm -hmm. uh, see, buy my CBD oil at... Uh, <laughs> CBCBD at oil. CCDB.com. Um, hey, that's your initials. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, Paige, what you got? Uh, I'm not quite heroes. H-E-R-O-E-S on everything except... Twitter. I'm also on Twitter. I just don't know how it works. I so don't hit she me up on there. I literally don't know how to like log in anymore. She doesn't use it. Nope. Hit me up on everything else though. She streams with That's me too. Where so I'll does be. Chris. Yeah. They both stream with me. We stream. I was personally very emotionally affected by the amount of Last of Us Two that we played. Mm -hmm. If we can take a moment yeah. here, is it too late? Can to... We take a moment of silence. Not a moment of it's silence. A moment where I talk a lot because that's what I want to do. How much do you want to talk? Not a whole lot, but I'm just saying like I don't. I didn't get that deep into the Last of Us Two. But I watched a little bit of our stream, and I was like, I'm, I'm like, clearly, like, sad in that. Yeah, yeah we played. We you played. were very sad every time you came out. Like, you were just real game, sad. It was, it was like watching Deer Hunter for four hours. <laughs> so like, this is being recorded so on Sunday the 21st. We played Last of Us 2 when it came out Friday. Yeah. And it was an emotional experience. Yeah, and I'm not even as deep as you. Like, I didn't mm -hmm. make it through the first mm -hmm. act, and I, I left with just... Tons of unresolved sadness. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Every oh, time you happier. walked out, you looked it's real not, sad. It's, it's not, not getting any happier. Bet. Yeah, I bet. Um, very, very, very good game. Yeah, but just like Oscar movies are good and make you sad, want, make you sad. Like this game is the same way. Probably the best game I've ever played, and also the, the most depressing <laughs> game. Frankly, it's an amazing game. It is. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, but now that you've advertised Last of Us 2 I know, three, they don't need my help. Yep. I think that's the perfect time to, to conclude the podcast, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for doing all the things you do. Thanks, guys. And we Thank will you. see you next month. Bye-bye. We miss bye, you already. Bye-bye. For episode 14, guys. Bye. Bye. Come back to me. Here, pussy, 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 pussy. Where do you roll? Here, pussy, 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 pussy. Please come home.